Today we're gonna talk about what to look for when buying an acoustic guitar. What's up, my name is Nick from The Future Musician and today we're gonna talk about what to look for when you are gonna buy a new acoustic guitar. So last week I decided I was in the game for a new guitar because I found that my own acoustic guitar was lacking on some things. I was just looking for some different sounds and I went to the store and I tried a lot of different guitars and I had them all in my hands, I played them all and that was when I realized that you can't expect one guitar to do everything you want. So that's why I took two of them home. This is not a joke actually. I played a lot of different guitars and when doing so I realized you can't expect one guitar to do everything you want it to do. There are so many differences that come into play and I just wanted to talk to you guys about how you can decide what is the right guitar for you and yeah make sure it suits your playing style and genre. So one important thing to keep in mind is that you can't expect uh, one guitar to do everything really well. Uh, you've got certain guitars that are really good for finger style playing uh, and they sound really warm and uh, which is nice if you're a songwriter and you just play a lot of finger style things. But when you play in a band you want your acoustic guitar to uh, sound a little bit more brittle and make it cut through the mix so if your guitar is way too warm you won't hear it. So yeah you need a different guitar for different purposes. So the first thing uh, you need to do in order to find the right guitar is look at what you're gonna use it for. Are you a singer-songwriter and do you play a lot of acoustic gigs on your own or do you play a lot of, fi a lot of finger style? Uh, maybe you want a warmer sounding guitar. But if you play, as we just said, in a band, maybe you want uh, a guitar that is a little bit more brittle and a little bit brighter. And also, if you're gonna play live, maybe you need to amplify the guitar. So it's a really good thing to determine what you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna use it only in the studio, you don't need a pickup. If you play live, it might be a good idea to buy a guitar with a pickup in it. And there are also lots of different pickup systems. So determine what you're gonna use it for. All right, so the next thing uh, you need to do is look at what kind of size you want your guitar to be. Like, you have different sizes. Uh, smaller ones are orchestra models. Then you have the Dreadnought. Then you have the Jumbo guitars. And you also have the Parlor guitars. They are smaller even than the orchestra models. And you have the Baby Martin, Baby Taylor. So you've got a lot of different sizes and the size does matter, you know. Uh, no, the size really does matter. So smaller guitar mostly means they are uh, a little bit quieter and they don't have much sustain. Uh, and the bigger you get, the louder they get and the more sustained they get. This doesn't always uh, happen. It also depends on how the guitar is built, what kind of wood you are using. But generally, this is something you can kind of keep in mind. Also, the bigger your body is, the more low end you get. So a Dreadnought guitar, most of the time, has a little bit more body to it than a Parlor, for instance. So a Dreadnought guitar mostly has a lot more body to it than a Parlor guitar, for instance. But other than the sound, it might be good to look at yourself. What kind of person are you? Are you just a small guy or a small, small girl and you play with a big jumbo guitar? Yeah, it just looks a little bit weird and I don't think it would play very well. And if you're a, a big guy and you're playing with a small guitar, actually that could look quite cool. But yeah, it's something to keep in mind how the guitar sits and fits and how it looks. And also, yeah, as I said, size does matter. So the next thing to keep in mind is the sound. Do you want a bright guitar or do you want a warm guitar? If you play in a band it's better to have a guitar that sounds a little bit more bright and brittle because it cuts through the mix easily. But if you're a songwriter maybe you want it to be a little bit more warm and it also has to suit your voice. If you have a really harsh voice it might be a good idea to yeah get a guitar that sounds a little bit more warm but if you got a really warm voice uh, it could be cool to have a guitar that is a little bit more yeah edgy and has a little bit more bite to it so and it, this is all taste there's no right or wrong uh, and you just have to try a lot of guitars to determine which sound you like the next thing you need to decide is whether you need a pickup or not so if you're gonna play live, yeah, it might be a good idea to choose a guitar with a pickup system in it. So you can plug it in in the PA system and uh, you can amplify your signal. If you're just gonna use it for yourself and in the studio, 
You can also just buy a guitar uh, that has no pickup system whatsoever in it. Those tend to be a little bit cheaper because you don't have all the electronics in it. But if you have the money, I think it's a good idea to buy a guitar that has a pickup in it. So when you decide to play live, even though you maybe wouldn't have thought you would like to play live. So when you decide to play live, you actually can. And you don't have to yeah, build the system in it. There are some good options to build in some pickups later on in it. Uh, you have some magnetic pickups you can just place in the sound hole so that you don't have to drill holes into your old guitar. But that might be a whole different video, so let me know if you guys would love to see that. But yeah, it's a good idea to yeah think about whether you want to pick up or not. Another thing I like to check when buying an acoustic guitar is check the sustain of the notes. So I try to play some chords and I'll, I'll just see how long they ring. Because I like my guitars to have some sustain to it. Also the setup is a really important thing. I don't like my strings too high on the guitar uh, and also not too low. Uh, because if they are too low you can get a lot of rattle from the strings hitting the frets. And if they are too high, one, it plays really hard. Uh, and also you can get some intonation problems because you have to push really hard to get the right note. So it bends the string a little bit. And uh, the intonation is a big part of the setup of the guitar and you want it to be good. So yeah, as I told you guys, uh, I was in the game for uh, a new guitar and what I was looking for, I have a guitar that is quite all around, but what it didn't do is I play a lot of finger style, finger picking, and I wanted a guitar that had a little bit uh, more definition in the mids because when you're finger picking, uh, you don't want it to be too bright, but you want it to be uh, nice uh, and evenly and smooth in the mids. So you can really hear the different and, and the separate notes. So yeah, the guitar I found was this one. It's an Eastman and I really like the sound of this one. So yeah, I have to be honest, when I first saw this guitar, I just fell in love with the looks of it. But I already had in mind that I wanted to try an orchestra model guitar for the finger picking style because I thought uh, orchestra mo models are a little bit more articulate in the mids. So yeah, I found this guitar, fell in love with it. I'll just play a bit. Yeah, so it sounds really good on finger picking, but also when you play some chords. It had a really nice shine. It's not too bright, but also not too warm. And you can hear everything when you play finger style, so. Something like that. But when I was trying all those different guitars, I also found this one. And this guitar, it stood out for me because it sounded really bright on the top end. And that is something that I don't yet have and that the other Eastman guitar also didn't do because it was really nice in the mids but it didn't have the shiny bright highs uh, and my Martin guitar sounds really warm uh, so also this was a sound that I did not yet have uh, so I'll show you guys I'll play the same chords as that one so you can hear it And it just keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. So I tried a lot of guitars. I tried some Eastmans, like these two. I tried some Martins, I tried some Taylors. And yeah, I just ended up loving the Eastmans. The particular model doesn't really matter. If I'm honest, I don't even know the models of the guitars I bought. I just played a lot of them and I just checked all the things uh, that I just talked about and made sure that I found the guitars that really suited the things I was looking for. And at first I was looking for a guitar for finger style playing, uh, so I ended up with a smaller one, with the orchestra model. But when I was trying all those guitars, I found the other guitar I played at last, and it was really bright and it had those ringy highs. And that's great for uh, more poppy kind of music and when you play live with the band. And you can't expect one guitar to do all of those things. So that's actually why you need more acoustic guitars than one if you're really into playing 
acoustic guitar. So those are the things you have to look for when you are buying an acoustic guitar. I hope this video helps and I hope it will help you find the right guitar for you. Uh, and please do let me know in the comments if this video was helpful and then I will see you guys in the next video.